This week my blog is about taking back my time. The title of my blog is My Time is Gold, which I have come to realize that it truly is golden and gold and actually more valuable than gold. And the reason I say that is that you need time to be able to do what you want to do, to be able to do the things that fulfill you, that bring you happiness, that bring you joy, and also to do the work necessary to make yourself feel better. I think um, if for me, I was spending a lot of time in situations that I was just there unconsciously. I wasn't really, um, really even knowing why I was in some situations. I was just kind of unconsciously, you know, going to a party, going to a happy hour, hanging out, uh, or watching TV, watching a movie that maybe I wasn't really even interested in, didn't really like, but I was just sitting there watching it anyway, mainly because I wasn't sure what else to do with my time. So I think my first step and one of the first steps in my journey was to analyze, you know, where I spend my time and how it makes me feel. And I know I had to personally, in order to dive deep on this, I had to stop drinking alcohol. Um, in stopping drinking alcohol, I, I was able to get more in touch with my feelings and be aware of where I wanted to spend my time. And I was, when I'd be in a situation and I wasn't drinking, I was able to be more in touch with myself and say, you know what, this, this doesn't make me feel good, this doesn't bring me anything, I'm gonna step away from these situations. And because I wasn't drinking, I was able to do it in a calm way, in a respectful way, but just to choose something else for myself. And what it really made me do is respect my own time and really realize the value of my time. Because a couple hours that I spent in a situation that drained me, maybe I spent two hours at a function that I didn't want to be at, but that two hours turned into maybe five or six hours because it would be an hour to get ready for the event, you know, driving to the event and then not having fun at the event so I'd come home and be exhausted and wouldn't be able to do anything else. And so that was another couple hours to rest. Um, so really like taking up whole evenings or whole weekend days, doing things that, that were bringing me nothing to add to me, nothing to fulfill me. And then just wondering why I felt kind of sad and depressed and kind of a little empty. And I think instead of spending my time doing that, taking that time and doing things that really fulfilled me and you know, even if that's just like taking a bath or something or just, you know, just taking care of myself that, you know, an hour taking a bath and getting all the, the, the bubbles going in the bath and getting the candles ready and doing all that stuff. Um, I'd rather spend an hour doing that than an hour in a situation that's going to drain me and not make me feel good. And I've learned to be okay with that in myself. I used to feel like I had to be like out and about and interacting and if someone asked me to do something, I had to make all sorts of excuses why I can't do that. Um, and I felt kind of silly just staying home, taking a bath or reading a book, you know? Um, but now I love doing that and I feel okay with it because it's my life and it's my time and I'm allowed to take care of myself and do whatever I want to do with my time. Um, I think these, this is important, especially as we get older, at least for me, I don't have as much energy as I used to have in my 20s and 30s, and using my time wisely, my time and energy wisely to do the things that I still want to do with my time here on earth. <laughs> and one of those things I want to do is be creative. I love being creative, I love drawing, I love writing, and now I love doing this, I love doing videos, who knew? But I really, really enjoy doing videos. I love connecting in this way. I love sharing my thoughts. I actually love talking now, which I never really used to love sharing my thoughts verbally. So um, this is all new to me, but it's all a part of me changing into a different person. And that change started with me just wanting to dive deeper into how I was spending my time, who I was spending my time with, and making better choices. And I think that is just the beginning of a journey is to analyze that and decide, you know, what is working for you, what isn't. And I found quite a few situations that I was just there, just unconsciously kind of just hanging out 
and not getting anything from them. So I just wanted to share that and I also go over that in my blog and the things that I point out in my blog, um, the three things for me that um, I had to kind of analyze was the alcohol consumption, which as you know, I'm, I don't drink anymore. And that worked for me to kind of get in touch with my feelings and decide situations that weren't working for me. Um, the second thing is, is toxic relationships. And these could be, you know, family members up to just like acquaintances, up to just like, you know, seminars or different things you go to and try out, um, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to go. Um, you can make those choices based on what resonates with you um, and why why would I want to spend my time in a situation that makes me feel bad I just think like we feel like there's so many so much pressure on us to do certain things that really when we think about it we don't have to do and so my message this week is just to take your time back where you can I know you can't take it all back at once I mean we still have to work our jobs and take care of our families but that spare time that we all have just use it to enhance yourself use it for self-care not to feel guilty just to do something different do something that scares you that's where I am right now I'm really into doing things that scare me like like this like talking like I never um, I never enjoyed talking, you know, verbally, and so this kind of scares me, so it's kind of exciting. And also for me, my art shows, I did, I'm doing another art show in Los Angeles in September, September 21st, and that kind of scares me, but it's fun. I'm kind of having fun being scared right now, so <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, it just kind of gets all my motion going in that direction. And I learned so much at the last art show I did about myself and about the people around me. It's almost like I'm addicted now to kind of um, pushing the envelope. And so that all started with just taking little pit bits of my time back here and there to be able to draw, to be able to think, I think is very important. Just to think, just to take, you know, just to lay on your bed and stare at the wall and think, like, what do I want? I mean, I didn't even know that. So I think just that thinking time, kind of that peaceful time to decide what you really want. That's such important time. And I think so many of us think that that's wasted time, but I think it's very, very important time. And um, I think anytime we can do that and get in touch with things that really matter to us, if it really matters to us, like in our hearts and soul, I guarantee there's gonna be a person out there that it matters just as much to as you. And so as you put your stuff out there, other people will get courage to put their stuff out there. And it just makes life more fun, more engaging. And it's fun to see people take a chance. I did see a friend of mine take a chance this week who put her art, opened a new Instagram account and put her art out there. And I love you and good job. And it makes me so happy when people do that. Um, it's exciting for me. Um, Although this, the journey that I've gone on has been hard, one of the hardest things I've ever done, the rewards have been more than I ever, ever in my life could have expected. And I'm, I'm so happy about it. And um, I just wanna share it with everyone. And if you wanna read my blog, it's on my website, www.womany.com. Um, on my website, I have my store where I'm selling my Awaken Your Queen t-shirts. And um, those just came in, so those are on my website to buy. And I also have my blog, and you can also sign up for uh, my newsletter. And um, then I just have About Me page and stuff like that on there. And then, of course, I have my Instagram account, at WomanY. So um, you can also see I do excerpts of my blog on my Instagram account. So I am quite all over social media and I love it because I love all the different ways to connect with people and connect with new people because some people that you know aren't on Instagram are on YouTube and some people that aren't you know on either place are on Facebook so I'm on all of them I have a Facebook account too um, just to connect with more and more people and to share this journey of midlife with everyone and encourage everyone um, 
So I hope you have a wonderful evening and we'll talk soon.